Leave weight out of this for a second. Let's go with drag. Ooh, red. <laughs> drag. What is how do what is drag? The amount of wind resistance on an object. Good, good. And how do we how do we compute it? What factors go into this? Go ahead. Area. Area. Good. Okay, what else? Um, how it's shaped. Shape. Anything else? There, there's, there's weather again. I'll put weather. Weather, yeah, this has to do with the atmospheric pressure. What is atmospheric pressure? How much um, pressure there is from the atmosphere pushing down. Right, right. So you got, you got the earth here. Here's the earth. The higher you get away from the earth, what happens to the pressure? It goes down. Yeah. Goes down. What's, what's the pressure up here in space? Zero. Zero. And what's it down here? <laughs> 14 psi somewhere on there. One atmosphere. Yeah. For, I forget what exactly it is. 14 point seven. That's what it is. 14.7 pounds per square inch. So, if this rocket is one square inch, if you looked on it on the top, you have 14 pounds of air pushing down on it. And that's at sea level. That's at sea level. Here at altitude, we're at here in Colorado Springs. We're at 6,500 feet. So it's going to be less than that. Can we? It's what? It's ten seven here in Colorado. Okay. Can we control this with our rockets? No. So, what is our drag formula? Drag is a force. What's a force? Something that pushes or pulls. pulls. Pushes or pulls. Good. Did you train all these people? Yeah, I, I taught them everything. They <laughs> these guys are smart. Drag it. <laughs> Drag is a force. A force is it's simple. It's a push or a pull. So I need a I need uh, somebody to come up here. I nominate Brandon. Okay. So put a push. Give me a force. Uh, push. Push. Give me a push. Push. Okay. Okay. Now I need a I need a pull. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's a push. That's a force. It's simple, right? So we got we got a we got a force acting on our rockets, either pushing or pulling. May the force be with you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> So we got drag equals, here's the equation, one half rho. Rho is the density of air, which is this over here. So one half 10.7. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah. You have, to, you, have to watch, you have to watch your units. We're not going to actually go through this, but one half rho V, see, one of the things that you forgot is velocity squared times the area times. What's, the, what's this one that we don't have here yet? We have area, we have weather, shape. And how do we, how do we throw shape in there? Uh, it's, it's a funny number and it's called the coefficient of drag. And we use CD. CD is coefficient of drag. So that is our drag formula. So if we want high drag, what do we want to do? What, what can we mess with over here? Um, your area and your uh, coefficient of drag. And how about our velocity? Yeah. We can <laughs> so we got a lot of stuff we can play with. So if we want to increase the velocity, what do we do? You put um, a bigger engine. Bigger engine, good. And if you want to slow, lighter frame. and a, and a yeah, a lighter rocket, because now you got this drag. We're fighting something. We're fighting gravity, right? We'll get into that in a minute. Um, how about area? What can we do to increase the area? Could, could you explain, when you say area, what are you actually saying? Well, in rockets, there, it's, it's kind of funny. In rockets, area, it doesn't matter what area you use. If you, if you use on an airplane, when they talk about the area of an airplane, you got wings. Rockets, we don't have wings, but on an airplane, this is the area that they use. Now, you could do that on a rocket. Oh, 
you could use this area here. But that's really not what they use. In rocketry, what we use is the area of the, the, the circumference or looking down on the rocket this way, just of the tube. So if you looked at the, at the rocket this way from the nose, the only area we're looking at is that circle right there. Now if you wanted to use the fins, what you would do is your coefficient of drag would be different. This coefficient of drag is a weird number that uh, scientists, they have to figure out what the rocket is going to be. And what they do is they actually measure the drag, they know the density, they know the velocity of the air moving past the rocket, and they know the area, because you can measure it. And then once they, they measure the drag, so then they go and they find out what this number is. But we don't know what this number is up here, so we gotta, we're going to guess at this one right here, and we can use software to figure that out. Your question? The way we used to do it, it explain it is it's a cheater number to make the formula work. It's exactly right. That's, that's exactly right. It's, we, we cheat. We don't, because we don't know how the shape, because different shapes are going to affect the drag on the rocket, and we don't know how that affects it, so we throw everything into this. It's kind of like a garbage can. We just dump everything into there, and then we figure it out. And then we ask questions later. So you kind of like so when you say you use software, do you like build it in a CAD CAD program and then yep. it'll spit out the number? Yeah. The other way to do it is a wind tunnel, and the wind tunnel is much more accurate. Um, and I have a wind tunnel. Do you have a wind tunnel here at the school? Well, you can actually throw it in a wind tunnel. They have one at the Air Force Academy. Yeah, we all, we all went to see those air tunnels. Yeah. So th they'll just stick their rocket in there, and they'll stick it on a, on, a, on a metal rod like this and then they'll blow air past it and this metal rod is kind of like a scale that you step on so the more force pushing back here it feels it and so you can actually measure it and that's how wind tunnels work it's kind of cool okay so we can change the coefficient of drag and that's that's kind of hard but it's 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 something that we can control okay so now let's We've already talked a little bit about velocity. How about area? So we, we're looking for the lowest altitude, so we want small area or big area? Big area. Big area. Now where, where can, we, can we erase? Okay, so you've watched about 10 minutes of the video so far. It's pretty good, isn't it? Well, it gets even better in the second half. Unfortunately, it is too much for YouTube. So what I've gone and done is put this uh, video on DVD and you can get it from us here at Apogee Components. Now if you want the DVD, just come to our website. Uh, right down here, you'll find the URL where you can buy this DVD. And uh, please let us know what you thought. Thanks. I'm Tim Van Milligan and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop.